What's up YouTube? Today we will be reviewing these AMX 3D Micro Mini Solar Cells. So I was looking for a small DIY style solar panel on Amazon for a future project. But let me be honest with you guys, I have no experience with solar cells. This will be one of my first projects and I had little to go off by except reviews, great marketing from the companies and my intuition. So I just went off of that. I try not to go for an expensive one. I try not to go for a cheap one. I just went somewhere in between where I felt like there was quality and a good amount of reviews that were positively inclined. And this is where I landed. So these AMX 3D solar cell panels promise to give a 1.5 volt output with 400 milliamps. So that should be about 0.6 watts per solar cell. And today we're just gonna be reviewing how well these solar panels actually work. And of course we can't have an Amazon product video without a proper unboxing, or in this case, unbagging. So here we go. I could probably deduct some points for packaging, but these cells come with a thin silicone protective layer and it seems to get the job done at protecting it. I noticed that some of the solar cells that you get is just the actual cell and you have to go through the whole process of putting a thin protective layer over it, either through glass or getting your own uh, like epoxy like clear epoxy and this one gets that out of the way so if you're just starting out with solar cells and you don't really know what to do you just want to experiment or maybe you're trying to do a project that is isn't solar cell eccentric you're just trying to power something and see how that other thing works i definitely do recommend getting these instead of those other cells because then you're gonna end up with a lot of broken solar cells and it's gonna take away from the actual thing that you're trying to go for in this case the project that i'm trying to go for is not solar cell centric it's just me trying to learn how to control other stuff but now that we have concluded that the physical quality of the solar cell is acceptable uh we should definitely check to see how it stands up to what the manufacturer promised, which is 1.5 volts at 400 milliamps. Here we go. Um, here's the solar cell. We have it connected to this breadboard and we have my multimeter uh, connected to that as well. So here we should be able to see the voltage. We're gonna do that right now. So according to this, we have 1.628, uh, definitely better than what the manufacturer was saying. Which means that, I don't know, you can't complain about that. 1.6 compared to 1.5. Um, I do have a clear view of the sky right now. As you guys can see, it's very clear, sunny right now. And we have a good, oh, now it's starting to go into the shade. So it, we have less than 1.5. And now we have 1.6 again. All right. So now our next test is going to be uh, an amperage test to see how much it goes when it's rolling. For our next test, uh, we have this little motor, DC motor right here. And we're going to use that to see how much amp, uh, how much amperage we're getting from the solar cell. And there we go. Got the DC motor running through this little solar panel. And according to the solar panel, we're getting about 10.6 milliamps, 10.7, it varies. And uh, per the manufacturer, we're supposed to be getting 400 milliamps. So maybe it just needs to be connected to a stronger motor. And now we have a slightly stronger DC motor right there. 
and we are going to connect it and see how that behaves so let's go ahead and connect it uh high side there we go so we definitely have um stronger flow on this one and according to the multimeter we have almost 200 milliamps 1.191 milliamps so that just leads me to believe that we just have to have a bigger load i have a way bigger motor here we go and the weird thing is that i'm still getting the same amount of current so i just increased the load by like putting some friction on here and now i get all the way up to whoop, 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 whoop. now i get all the way up to 300 and uh, there we go 332 milliamps so um still not sure if there is a way i can bring that up to 400 to see if that is actually the case so i'm going to try using this motor and increasing the load the same way i just did by holding this down and just making the motor struggle more and we'll see how that works here it is again we have 200 milliamps of currents through this motor that we have seen before and i increased the load by making the motor struggle more and i can just increase the current by almost 300 not quite 300 i had it at 300 a second ago but that just goes to show you that that will not be possible so that is all i have for you guys today i did forget to show you guys which i will do right now the voltage while there is a load on the circuit and in fact it did drop to 1.45 so it's still pretty close to 1.5 volts uh, it looks like the manufacturer overpromised and underdelivered, but I was still pretty impressed with that tiny little solar cell pushing that big DC motor. It it's just impressive because it's a bigger DC motor. It's not a huge DC motor, but you know it's just a tiny little solar cell. And it's exciting to see what I will be able to do uh, with these solar cells in the future. I will be making a project in the future with these solar cells, but I am going to split it up in smaller components that way i'm not making a long long video and it's more manageable for me all right um thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like the content that i'm bringing for you guys if you find any value out of this please subscribe i will be back with more videos and uh write in the comment section what kind of videos you would like me to make next all right thank you guys and peace out